coming to custom design and uh, simulation you can see here so custom design and simulation uh, this is uh, uh, used for uh, analog layouts and uh, sch uh, schematics uh, simulations you can say that uh, uh, this is custom design uh, simulations where you are uh, trying to implement some analog uh, designs like PLL or analog to digital converters, DAC, all those things. So uh, what all the tools required for custom design uh, simulations from Mentor Graphics is first is Design Architect IC, so then Mask TA, then Edit, then Aldo and Aldo Radio Frequency. So Aldo is the simulator on which you can mm, do uh, and this uh, spice simulations we know that uh, when we are dealing with the transistor level modeling uh, during that time uh, it's instead of writing verilog code it's better will try uh, try to write that thing with the spice because it, it is much more accurate and much more specific okay so what eldo will do you design a schematic and after that you run the simulation with the eldo eldo will create a spice netlist okay so by which you can check the functionality of the uh, your uh, uh, any analog design like and small inverter and gate nand gate okay now this is mixed uh, signal simulation circuit simulation this time so uh, where we have seen mixed uh, signal circuit simulation for that we need advanced model sim and advanced model sim with radio frequency okay you take example of a usb device okay so in order to verify a usb you need a utmi interface as well as you need a real utmi okay so we know that in real utmi maximum uh, in real utmi you are having analog design okay analog parts like pll then uh, clock recovery circuits so all those uh, things will come in analog design but at the same time on the other end you're having um, digital part okay now in order to verify utmi plus usb device function controller together you need to perform analog and mixed signal simulation in order to get the exact results okay so if you want to perform that type of simulation where you are simulating analog as well as digital blocks and then you can go with an advanced model sim and advanced model sim with radio frequency okay so that is uh, what the advanced uh, model sim they are talking about now coming to back guidance people are having so you see here uh, they are giving their own design flow system specification then they are telling system consulting algorithm design architecture design system level simulation <coughs> actually the objective is they are, they are telling that uh, how their design flow looks first they are telling the system specification as i told you nasic design flow which is typical ac design flow this is pertaining to cadence they are telling system specification you have to take the system specification then you have to perform the system level designs okay nowadays people are going with esl okay like um, esl tools they are using a esl tool for system level design and verification okay so uh, at system level what all things you will do you will uh, design an algorithm or you will design an architecture or you will run system level simulation you will run system level simulation using system verilog c++ or any uh, higher verification language top level verification language okay then you will perform rtl design as we all know then after rtl you are doing c optimization of power requirement floor planning then init in synthesis then test synthesis simulation sta layout timing eco and verification so this is the flow we'll see what tools they are using now uh, coming to art uh, cadence design flow uh, the rtl check and synthesis tool so in cadence if you are going for uh, linting purpose if you want to check whether your construct is synthesizable or not or if you want to check which is the synthesis tool from uh, cadence then that is rtl compiler so you can call this as encounter rtl compiler okay so in synthesis you are going to give constraints okay so after giving the constraints you need to analyze okay what is that uh, where uh, analyze so analysis is done by pks okay now physical prototyping now physical prototyping means uh, you are talking about floor planning and uh, all those things uh, floor planning uh, routing so in order to perform floor planning and routing we should go with soc encounter fire and ice signal storm and voltage storm okay so these are the uh, tools that perform the uh, 
by on which we can perform the mm, f- uh, you can say that floor planning and uh, placement okay so soc encounter is a, a, bo- a very popular tool then initial layouts soc encounter pks nano route and warp route so these are uh, initial layouts you will perform in soc encounter okay but if you come to uh, analog design if you need to perform any layout on uh, cadence tool then you have to go with virtuoso layout editor and if you are running any simulation for uh, schematics or f- for layout you have to use specter okay specter simulator and if you are performing some uh, physical verification so you can go with ashura and uh, divya okay ashura uh, ashura will perform physical verification now timing optimization if you are pr- planning to perform encounter is having that feature even fire and ice is having that feature pks is having that feature nano route and warp route is having that feature okay so that is uh, the objective of uh, uh, that is the tool that, that is used for timing optimization cross talk and timing fixing so this is very important uh, nowadays that's why this uh, the cross talk is very important nowadays in deep sub micron technology that is why people that is why the eda vendors are keeping this option as a separate and they are giving this f- feature as a separate feature in their tool okay for that they are using soc encounter pks nano route and warp route okay so the thing is in older version of your uh, tools you will not find cross talk options there okay you cannot uh, analyze properly cross talk okay nowadays where it is a cross talk and uh, cross talk is a major problem so in that case many eda vendors are coming up with the cross talk feature in their tool okay now coming to rc extraction okay for rc extraction they are using fire and ice okay so you can do physical verification with ashura so fire and ice uh, ice is also for rc extraction cross talk analysis you can use pks and celt ic for power analysis you can do voltage storm for delay calculation you can do signal storm for physical verification you can do ashura and for timing model generation you can go with pks so this is the full asic design flow from the cadence what are the tools they are supporting and giving you